Delicious golden brown pastry. Spicy pork. Spicy pork? Yeah. Okay. Hello guys, welcome back to Rad Little Nomad. Today we're gonna try more snacks. We have beautiful and delicious golden brown pastry. These are savory pastries and this right here is a little sweet one. It's from a local bakery called Papillon Bakery. This is called a piroshki. Fried doughy meat in there. This is called a kachapuri. There are different types of kachapuri. Everything has cheese in it. That's so crispy. I went there this morning and everything is made to order. I was super impressed. Mm. This one has pork in it, spices, a little bit of onion. It's not spicy, but it's a little salty. Pretty good. This is called a piroshki. It's a popular Russian street snack. I came across this little thing, Pyroshki, when I was living in another neighborhood. It's predominantly an Armenian Russian neighborhood. And the first thing, whenever I move to somewhere new, I walk around and see what's in my block. Across the street, there's this place called Pyroshki House. And they make one thing really, really good these Pyroshkis. Three types there's the type of meat in there, there's the type of potatoes in there, and there's the type of cheese in there. I kid you not, the first time I had it, I fell in love. It's like a this golden brown crispy on the outside, super hot because it's made to order. And it's just oh, good memories, man, good memories. Mm. I'm pretty sure the calories are off the charts, but fine, who cares? Mmm. The second one has cheese in it. Let's see how different this one tastes. Mm. The cheese in there is super salty. It gives this savory street snack that another level of deliciousness. So a good flavor is basically fat and salt. Whenever you're cooking at home, load up on your butter, load up on your garlic salt, and then you have yourself fantastic magic. Good job. Mm. And this thing looks like your average Danish or turnover pastry. Listen to it. Oh, listen to that. Super flaky, by the way. Flaky, crispy. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful, isn't it? More cheese on the inside. So good. A funny thing about kachapuri is that there are different types of kachapuri. There are the ones that look like pizza. It's kind of like a pizza dough and it looks like a boat. So that's the traditional kachapuri that people have in mind. It's a Georgian dish. It's in the country of Georgia. The funny thing is, over there, they prefer kachakuris over pizza. So the University of Tbilisi, the capital city of the country, actually uses it to measure inflation. So they use the price of a kachakuri across the state or across the country to measure the annual inflation. Isn't that dope? It's like the hamburger index or something that we have. Delicious. 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 Delicious.
Because over the years, more culture kind of got mixed up, and you have delicious food from one region taking on the influence from another, and then crossed over back only maybe 10, 20 years later. And because of trade routes, spices traveled from one end to the other end of Asia and Europe. So you literally see cuisines that are influenced by the other end of the world show up all of a sudden just because of trade. Let's say Sichuan food. People think Sichuan food is really spicy because it has a lot of chili in there and everything is red. That is very true for modern times. But a hundred years ago, before chili reached central China, aka the Sichuan region, the traditional dishes of Sichuan tend to be sweet. Here you see, in a really short period of time, how one ingredient could really change the entire culture. And that is really good concern about food. Awesome. This right here, it's like a half moon, a crescent. It's called chebureki. I forgot what this is in the end. Maybe it's cheese. Mmm. Mmm. It's a super delicious hot pocket. It's got freshly made to it. it has spicy cheese in it. There's some olives, some parsley, as well as chopped up tomato. Super beautiful on the inside. Ooh, it's drippy. Mmm. Oh yeah. Delicious. Really though. In Los Angeles, every day you discover something new. I've been here for four or five years. I have to say, there's still at least 80% of LA food that I've never tried. I urge you to get out to your neighborhood, walk around the block, go to your local bakery or hole in the wall joint just to order something. You might surprise yourself right there. And another thing is, it's really good to support local businesses and initiatives because with all these supermarkets or grocery stores, even don't they even sell donuts like Vons. I remember on Donut Day, I couldn't get to a Krispy Kreme without waiting for an hour and a half. I got so angry I just walked into Vons and I got myself half a dozen. So if Vons, if major supermarkets offer their conveniences, but you know what? I like my local shit. So. Mm. In case you guys are wondering what's in the back and why I talked about Jumping Up Alpha 7, this. It's called a punch cake. Basically, a beignet, both with custard and powdered sugar on top. It's like a UFO or a flying fly in this face. Mmm. 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 I'm having a really good time making this video. I hope you go out to your local restaurants or bakery and pick up something you've never had before. Comment down below, let me know what you have, and thank you for joining me for today. Favorite product ever? Favorite snack ever? Mmm.